Cancer, welcome back to my channel. This is your reading for how can Cancer and stop caring what people think and actually power up, step into their power. All right, so let's get started. So it's like it's saying to me here that. It's not about the external environment that is hindering you. It's more about you. Um, it's, it's how you feel about yourself, really. That is the truth of the matter that I'm seeing here. It's how you feel about yourself because people can influence how you feel about yourself. But if you step into your power, like if you work on your values, so it's like if you work on your values, the external world cannot really influence your decisions going forward. So it's more about how you feel about yourself, how your self-worth, your self-esteem. So the cards didn't want to pretty up anything and to do this to stop caring what people think. It's, it's directly telling me that to stop caring what people think about you, Cancer, you have to really pay attention to your internal self, how you feel about yourself. So you're, you need to work on... So this, the, even if you're out in, in, the, in, in the environment and you get triggered by what someone says or does or any situation that makes you question you actually stepping out into your power, that is... And a sign that you need to reassess something, reevaluate something within yourself to strengthen your sense of worth, your value. The pentacles don't only mean money. It, it's like value overall, anything value. It could even be the, the air that you're breathing. Value, anything in life that is valuable. Gold, material things, knowledge, virtues, abilities, gifts. Anything that is valuable, the connection that you have to your spiritual self, all of that is valuable, right? So you need to work on your internal, your core values, ground yourself in your heart too because cancerns are the fourth house where cancerns are nurturing creatures, home bodies. So you need to establish that sense of value in who you are as a cancerian. Because I realize that often concerns feel a little bit less because they've been told for many years that they're very emotional. And even in relationships, they might face tribulations because of their emotions, their intuition, their ability, concerns' ability to foresee things. To know what's going on, even in you know relationships that might have broken your heart and so on, even in your family, you are able to pick up on energy, and this might have made you some kind of a target for bad energy for people looking down on you, and it might have broken down your 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 core values within your heart space in you accepting your emotions as a part of you, as a valuable part of you, Cancerian. So. It's really just saying here to stop caring what people think. Be in you. Be, be you. Be powerful in you. Work on yourself. I feel like this is saying dive into. Go into. Turn internally. Work internally at your core values of self. Strengthen those things in you. You need to actively be doing so too. Physically am. Um, making sure that your values are strengthened so basically not putting yourself in environments where people talk down to you not neglecting to care for yourself not meditating because spirituality is a very important part of a cancerian's life and so cancerians need to actually practice in spirituality meaning whatever is divine it could be that you want to, to venture off in a type of a job that is not typical in the world. Like maybe you want to read tarot or 
you want to be a spiritual healer but others around you are in the corporate world for example and you might be doubting your value caring what people think but it is saying you need to really align with that with that nature with that essence of who you are and strengthen your value in that place when you actually begin to work on yourself, like maybe you start practicing, practicing more in, in what comes natural to you, speaking, healing, writing, creating music, um, practicing more in that, you actually have to be actively practicing more, telling your, speaking good thoughts to yourself, writing down good wishes for yourself, building your value. You might stand alone in it. Like off into a world by yourself, building up these values in yourself that no one has ever validated you for. But that's okay. It all starts within. And once you have created that space within you where you feel valuable, this is where you get the Six of Cups energy. Right? The Six of Cups. I got that. The Six of Cups energy, let me find it in the cards for you. The Six of Cups energy is basically as within, so without. You're, as I said, you're working internally on your pentacle, on your values, your pentacles, your value, yourself, your, your, how you feel about yourself, right? You're working on that. You're building that up. It feels like you're actually building it from scratch because... Maybe you've never been validated in a sense. You, there isn't really anyone around you that is doing what you are doing. And so you're actually creating yourself. So this is the Six of Cups energy, right? Where as you work on your values inside, what is on the outside world must change and match that. And so you will no longer attract people that don't appreciate you, but you'll attract people that do love and appreciate you because you're walking around in that sense of value for yourself. Even if you are alone, the universe sends someone. And this someone feels to me like, if you listen to the book, The Alchemist by Paulo Coelho, when Santiago went off on his big grand journey, of self-discovery he wasn't even realizing it was a journey of self-discovery it was something else in his mind he was up to right he met this stranger who knew things about him that he's told no one before all right so and then the stranger gave him a gift of the stranger gave him many gifts in wisdom in intel you know gave him some words of encouragement to go on his journey and also the stranger gave him a physical gift of two stones which would help him along his journey. So sometimes you feel alone just working on your core values and being true to yourself, Cancerian. But the after, when you start to do that initially, it's going to reflect itself on the outside and you'll meet strangers, people that you probably will never see again in your life that will sort of help you to reinforce, to strengthen that value within yourself. They'll give you gifts, right? Because it is a sort of a reward from the outside world for taking the initiative to strengthen your core value. And that's how to stop caring what people think. Knowing who you are. That's one way. Knowing who you are to find balance. Knowing who you are, Cancerian. Who are you? A mother, a creator. This is the king, but... Well, a father figure also, a creator, one who is magical. This, this is a crab. This feels like, because remember that you have a king crab in the ocean. This person feels like a, a creator, one that, it feels like a, a leg of the crab, a cra the crab leg moving in the sand, creating art. The king of wands represent magician energy to me, creativity, fertility, productivity, magic good fortune miscellaneous uh, not miscellaneous auspicious things happening random like random things of of bliss and fortune happening in your environment 
because you like this like random things of just hap and you are the one that manifests it because you've been working internally the external world has no choice but to align with how you feel about yourself so if you're getting opposition or it feels like you're getting opposition from the external world or, or you're getting a response from the external world that is not in your favor cancer work on your core values this is very powerful and look as soon as you start because there's a desire for you to feel stronger and more powerful there is a desire for you to sit in your value in your heart space to find yourself as a valuable person as who you are as a cancerian i'm valuable even if i am emotional i'm valuable even if i want to stay at home all the time i'm valuable if i love eating food and doing things and being creative i'm valuable as i am and then the six of cups energy comes in you're like manifesting in the outside world oh my god i'm repeating myself so this feels like establishing boundaries too within your heart space within your energy knowing who you are mentally also establishing boundaries to say i'm good enough when voices of deterrence come in you know to kind of throw you off your path sometimes we think these things are to throw us off our paths but the truth is they're here to strengthen us help us to erect our foundations of self and so we're not letting in any and anything into ourselves anymore cancerians this is saying cancerians can be guarded too cancerians can be hard too Cancerians aren't always emotional. Cancerians are tough, right? So the fourth house does have backbone, you know? We have girth. We can say no, know when to say no, know what to let into your world and not what not to. That is a way to not, how to not care about what people think, is to know what to accept. So it's not everything that someone says about you, you're, you're going to accept, is, accept it as a part of you. You have boundaries. You're, you know what you want out of this life. You want to wake up feeling good. So you make you like you make that claim. That is you standing firm. I'm going to feel good. I'm going to manifest a good day today. I have already manifested. I'm living through this day intentionally. So that's you having direction, having focus, being clear about what you want in yourself and not allowing others to really have that much power over who you are and who you choose to be i'm going to not let the reading get too far i love reading with playing cards all right if you don't know you can get definitive um divinatory meaning um readings from cards from playing cards look it up if you don't believe me it's true king of cups cancerian energy let it rest there I'm going to now shuffle and see what other messages come out for you. <sighs> Cancerian standing in their power and not caring what people think. Any messages for the lovely Cancerians? How to really not care what people think and stand in your power. Seven of Wands. How to stand in your power can say how can concern stand in their power and not care so much what people think Moon. any other messages please not care what people think stand in their power and not care how can concerns power up Cancerians powering up, not caring what people think. Just live their lives, not caring what people think. Is that all? Anything else? Cancerians. We have some swords. We have sword, 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 right? And then we have. Five of sword, establishing boundaries actively because sometimes the fight gets tough. Like sometimes you literally have to.
be mindful of your thoughts like mindfulness meditation you have to really be active in your own thoughts to set up that boundary to denounce what arises as negative and what wants to lead you astray from your truth you have to even though because it's like they spring up from in you so imagine these are your thoughts this is you in your space these are your thoughts you are the one that is creating them they're coming up out of you but at the same time you have to look at what you're producing look at what you're manifesting in thought and sometimes even though you created these thoughts that are not serving you you have to be the one to go in and to find a way to eliminate them and you're eliminating them with more po with positive action right with positive thoughts of love of self-love so you're actively blocking the five of swords the swords is adamancy being adamant being clear being focused being straightforward you know not being afraid to stand up for yourself being strong in your defenses you have to guard your your own thoughts your own internal world so you don't harbor things that don't serve you and so in your external world you won't be harboring things that don't serve you so you're actually standing up for your in your own self internally using your magic your power to you know cast good good um good you know good words and wishes over yourself and then we have the moon card which means keep quiet hmm how to not care what people think i feel like it is saying be quiet be quiet like don't share too much about what you're do what you're doing for yourself don't always tell people like you have spontaneous auspicious things happening in your life sometimes don't tell everyone be quiet keep keep some things dear to you have a place of of solace of solitude within yourself you know so yeah it's like you it's almost like a virtue that you're keeping it's like your your space your virtue be be careful not to tell everyone everything about what you're going through because not everyone will appreciate the work that you're doing on yourself and sometimes you can be vulnerable to even in yourself be quiet even to yourself when you're working on yourself be quiet <laughs> like just do it humbly modestly not forcefully or abrasively or as if you're trying to put a part of yourself down, you have to remember that you are, everything in you is a part of you. So we have the sun and the moon in one here. You are all. So even the negative thoughts that you're blocking off, remember that they come from you. And you have to use your compassion as a Cancerian. Come on. Your Cancerian passion that moon side of you, that watery side of you that has information and power to kind of burn out or eradicate through compassion, I feel, through love, the things that don't serve you. So it's like you're going to use love to our compassion and understanding from a deeper place of wisdom, of self, to overcome that which might come at you sometimes you know cancerians emotions are governed by the moon so at certain times that's when the moon is full whatever you're feeling doubts if you're if you're doubtful of yourself doubts might pop up in you even at a like a greater sense but then you have to find balance you know to work on yourself to see what's coming at you even before it comes at you right so some when you're quiet even within self and with those around you you're able to see what is coming at you that is attacking you in, internally and externally so is that use your wisdom as a cancerian to know what's good for you and what's not 
how to not care what people think about you can say and it's to know that you have the power to choose what you give your attention to what you cut down bottom of the deck is the sun card it's all coming together gloriously light is being shone upon the work that you're doing in yourself and so that's why you're manifesting as a highly valuable person externally okay so sometimes you have to see yourself for real and not let the the negative thoughts in your mind that you picked up from childhood traumas interfere or cast a veil over the truth your true essence as a cancerian as a nurturer a healer one that loves Yes, you have to have boundaries and not love everything and everyone. So you have to learn along your journey to harden yourself too, to know how to choose what to let in. And that brings you into this high value place. The, 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 the king of pentacles. Right? So you're shining. You're glowing up. Now I take no fear and answer. Going after what you want. Being steady, being careful, being quiet, quietly cutting out what's not yours, quietly moving away from what's not serving you. It feels like there's something established itself in you. It grow like like something grounded in you. If you need healing, I suggest grounding yourself, Cancer. This feels like grounding yourself as well. And that all comes back to going into you, going diving into yourself. Being quiet, quietly working on your, your virtues, loving yourself. Sometimes you have to be a bit mysterious. <laughs> Even to yourself, you're like... When your thoughts want to come in and bother you, they're like, why is, why is she not bothered by me saying this to her again? <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, that's what I have for you, Ken Syrian. I hope that you found this reading very helpful in your life so that you can lead your life powerfully as a creator, Cancer. Glory was, is coming for you all right thank you so much for listening to me take care remember that if this video was helpful to you and you'd like to see more of my readings subscribe to my channel it will be well well appreciated uh, much love to you take care